All right, Brooke, it's time to shake the magic eight ball. Okay. Go ahead and shake it up. Now we're gonna ask it a question first. Will this channel get monetized? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, go ahead and shake that up. See what the response is. Did I not shake it hard enough? All right, what does it say? Yes. Yes, yes, thank God. Look at that. Thank God, we needed something. We need something good, so. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Billy Hardy with my good friend and just one of the most incredible people that I know, Brooke Kittrell. Brooke, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Brooke? I am fantastic. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks Thank you so much me. for being on the channel and making this drink. And for you guys, if, if you don't know, Brooke is probably one of the reasons why the channel has launched so well as it has. I did an interview with her, which you can check on this card right here and watch the video because she is, like I said, she is incredible. And in the dictionary of life, there should be a picture of her that's that right next to the words hungry and humble. So check her out. I'll put a link down on her Instagram. She's got a fantastic business. But anyway, I just feel like I'm just smoozing now. So guys, do me a big favor over here. You're gonna see the subscribe button right here. I'm gonna need you to push that button for me, okay? Go ahead. Brooke, can you point right over there for me? See that? That's gonna be the notification bell. There's a bell over there if you wanna hit it. See it right there? See, if once you hit that notification bell, you get notified every time I post a video. And I got a lot of videos coming up. So guys, let's make a drink. All right guys, on this episode of Mix and Tricks, we're going to make the classic French 75. Now the French 75 is one of those classy drinks that delivers a pop. I mean, it will get you messed up. So, but first guys, before we get going with all that, do us a huge favor, stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna show Brooke a magic trick. Yes, the trick part of mixing tricks. So guys, a uh, little history about the French 75. It was created in 1926 by Harry McEnhorn. Now he was a uh, bartender that actually owned his own bar called Harry's American Bar. Uh, it was one of those drinks that he just kind of came up with, uh, wanted to have something that was classy, but delivered that punch. And that's why he named it French 75 after the 75 caliber uh, field gun, French field gun, which was compact, yet it gave you a wallop. So guys, let's make this drink. Some of the tools that we're gonna use for the drink, we have our shaker right here, because we are going to shake this up. Uh, our jigger, now Brooke, our jigger is one and a half ounces by half ounce okay. right here. Uh, our tongue, so we don't actually touch the ice because that would be just gross, disgusting. Uh, and this is a classy drink, so we're going to use champagne flutes. Ooh. 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 Brooke, what do we have over here ingredients wise? We have gin, simple syrup, lemon juice, and Prosecco. It's a very easy drink to make. Very easy. Have you bartended before? I think I did it for a day and my boss told me that I was horrible. So that was the extent of my bartending career. <laughs> I could, I can't imagine that you would be horrible at bartending. But you well, know what? You're, you're not going to be horrible here. No, not today. Today is, is, is a not good day. Not today. It's going to be great. So we're going to go ahead and start building this. We're going to uh, go ahead and let's ice that that shaker up there for me. Those are big ice cubes. They are big ice cubes. And they're, oh, there we go. Fantastic. We'll take this out of the way here. Also, we're gonna start, it's a gin-based drink, so we're gonna put two ounces of gin in there. So we're gonna do one and one. Okay. And there you go. One and one, because yep. it's one and a half. All right. Beautiful. Uh, we're also going to uh, go ahead and put a half ounce of our lemon juice in there. Juice. Or you can do this simple syrup. It's, sa it's the same measurement. It's the same? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Who says I can't be a bartender? Who says you can't be a bartender? 
As I spill things all over the table. Oh look, this, this thing's awful. <laughs> Assholes. I know. Said right? you can't be a bartender. Who, who? What do they know? What do they know? So awesome. So we do not want to shake prosecco in no. the tin because no. it would be a mess. <laughs> so we're gonna lock that in. Go ahead and shake that puppy up for me. Now shake it. Now let me show you. Since you actually never really had the chance, <laughs> if you take the tin like this, uh -huh. hold it here, and just shake it oh, back Lord. and forth, almost like a shake weight. Okay. Oh, I never had a shake weight. Oh, oh yeah. Here, well, I'll just do it. I'll shake it. <laughs> it is shooting out everywhere. That's what she said. <laughs> that was coming. And no strainer, so we're just going to strain this. What a classy drink. It is a classy drink. It's so classy. Now, we're gonna top it with our Prosecco. Okay. Have you opened these before? Nope, actually I did once while working as a waitress, not a bartender. Yeah. Let's point that out. And it wasn't a good experience. It wasn't so pleasant. I'm gonna let you open them. Okay, all right. <laughs> so basically you all, you know, you wanna, we should savor. I wish I had a sword and savor it. Now, if I could figure out how to do that, That'd maybe that'll cool. be my next trick for 2021. To savor? Yeah. Prosecco or champagne bottles? Yeah. So basically, now you would like to have like a cloth cover, but you just want to hold this away from, from your face because it will shoot off. And we're just going to top the rest like that Jeez. and we're going to give it a fancy Ooh, a lemon twist little lemon twist on top since it's a lemon based gin drink and that is a french 75. that looks amazing it does look amazing it does. let's see if it tastes amazing okay go ahead and taste it i get to taste you get to taste first. it you're the guest okay mm. good yeah mm -hmm. fantastic so all right guys that is the french 75. Now it's time for a trick. You want to do a magic trick? Yes. So I want you to picture a card in your mind. Okay. Okay. Do you have that card in your mind? I have that card in my mind. Very good. All right. So, and this is legit. I haven't touched that deck of cards, right? Nope. What is the card you're thinking of? Um, a 10 of clubs. 10 of clubs. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now pretty legit. I didn't say, Hey, be a sport. Say the 10 of clubs. Nope. Right. Mm -hmm. I want you to go open that deck of cards. I turn one card upside down. It's gonna take a sip. Take a sip. Okay, I need some magic for some magic. All right. Which way? Okay, and I want you to go through the cards. Mm -hmm. this and way it's important. Anyway, you, you'll be able to. It's important that I never touch the cards, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Solid. Solid. Okay, now let's turn it upside down. This one. Yeah, and just you can fan them out and you're gonna see one card that should be upside down. You see the card that's upside down? I do. All right, pick that card up because I don't want to touch the deck. So the nose trick, what's that card? <gasps> Billy, it's the 10 of clubs. Was that your card? <laughs> it was my card. Fantastic. That. that was your card. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Brooke, thank you so much. You're thank amazing. You. Beautiful inside and out. Guys, do us all a big favor. Give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, give us some th a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give us a thumbs up anyway, because you know what, we love you. And we all need a little bit more love in our life. Do us a big favor also, do all the fun stuff like subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below because I love to hear from every single one of you. I will see you on the next video.